Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. This lighting right now looks amazing. I don't want to get distracted because I'm driving. Um, but right now, um, well the original plan for me was to go and get coffee with a friend who recently, he just got back. He, he got back to uh, Okinawa maybe like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago. This is the second time he's came back, the second time he's left. Uh, my, my good friend Dylan, who has been on my videos like literally since I started YouTube. Um, anyways, he was, uh, he had some other uh, things come up today, so he wasn't able to go and get coffee, and, um, I was already ready and up, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna get coffee anyway. Uh, now the shop that we were gonna go to, my friend, she, she works at, I don't know if she's working today, but either, either or, I'm just gonna go and swing by, get coffee, get lunch, uh, cause then I gotta go around and get, uh, run some errands. I'm gonna stop by the store to see if the new Apple accessories are in, so... We'll see how it goes, but welcome to the vlog. So I just want to remind people, small compliments throughout somebody's day can go a long way. Uh, and, you know, like I, I just I just had a, a gate guard. So when you drive through the military bases here, whatever, Air Force, Marine, you have to go through a essentially a checkpoint where you have to show your military ID. These are people who stand out there for like hours at a day. The job can easily be like a pain and it could easily suck the life out of you and I can understand if somebody was to hate like doing that for hours on end uh so when you get somebody who has enthusiasm and like you know uh character to them it, it goes a long way i just had a guy who like he recognized me he's like you know you always drive through here you're always the best dress and you know what do you do and, like he stopped to have this mini conversation with me even though he's just like checking my id when you could easily be like you know go ahead go ahead so that always goes a long way and i have this funny rule that like the only compliments here that matter are the ones that come from gate guards so uh Reminder, small compliments towards people, no matter what position you're in, no matter how shitty your day may be, can go a long way. Alright, so... Just left the coffee place. It's called Chocolate Jesus Cafe. Spent like over an hour in there, an hour plus, almost two hours. Uh, had food, uh, had a scone, and then they, they served me some pancakes. They're trying out, because it's a new coffee shop, so they're like expanding the menu and stuff like that, adding new things. And my friend, she's playing a big part in that, so uh, got, a, got a free pancake out of it. <laughs> And um, I was just sitting there. I got through my uh, my 500 words for the day. I sat there writing a post for pretty much the whole time, and it just missed my turn. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was sitting there uh, hashing that post out, and then in the middle of that, I had to call my cell phone provider because I got this text that like my service just all of a sudden got cut off. Not my my calling, like the ability to call, but. Uh, the, the internet got cut off, like my 4G and all that, and it was because they couldn't verify my address, like my, my billing address, and it's because when I gave them the address, they, there was a confusion. It, it's hard because it's like a Japanese local address. So, sorted that out, and then uh, within 30 minutes, my service should hopefully <laughs> be back on. So yeah, now I have a couple more errands to run. Uh, got the coffee in my system, and, uh, and that I'll get back home and then probably finish some more work. And you know, there's something to be said about like cafes and all that, like in relation to activities. Like some people thrive on that stuff. Some people, like they thrive just working from home. And, and I'm a mix of both. Like I, I obviously have worked from home for, Jesus, almost the last decade now. I, I've had a home office in a sense, whether it was my bedroom or now it's like just a fully dedicated office. Um, it's it's nice now and again to get out and and just spend like a couple hours out. Uh, you know, around people and in a different environment. I remember I used to like listen to like playlists. There's there's a site called like Coffeeativity or something where you can literally listen to like cafe sounds. And, and some people really like that, like as opposed to white noise. Um, it's just the, the, the ambiance and the environment. It's nice to be out. And also like for me, it helps me focus on what I have to get done because at home, since I'm on my desktop, I can get like distracted very easily because I have the capability because I have like, you know, uh, the multiple monitors, despite them being super productive at times, also make it easy for me to have like a, a movie up on the other screen. When I'm out, when I'm with my MacBook, I'm just sitting there and focused on what I'm doing. It's one task and one goal to get accomplished.
Damn it, both times. Both times I forget to turn on the camera when I'm driving through the gate. This lady was super nice too. She even used the word spiffy. And it sounds like I'm just making it up because I never actually record it. Ah. I'm selling drones here now. I just saw this and I'm seriously considering getting this 6 in 1 nostalgic entertainment center. I've been looking for a record player, but this just encompasses like a lot of things and it looks <laughs> somewhat old school. This is dangerous. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of impulse purchase. Alright, so here's the thing. I <laughs> tried my best to not do impulse purchases, but that was definitely something I just couldn't pass up on. Um, I've been meaning to get a record player. I even came like this close to ordering the floating record players, this thing that was recently, um, I don't know if it was crowdfunded or not, but it's this idea of a vertical record player, really cool concept. But then the thing is like, I don't know so much about records where I was like, I don't, I don't want to get something super high quality. I still need to learn how to maintain it, you know, the idea of cleaning the records and all of this stuff. Um, so uh, I, I was looking at the sites like The Wire Cutter, which is a really great site for looking for like the best of something, especially in the field of technology. Um, and, and it's funny that I'm so new to this, despite it being a very, you know, it's an older form of listening to music. And I just saw this, and I thought also it'd make a good gift. Like it's a six in one, it plays cassettes, it plays CDs. Um, and it's something that I can leave behind with my parents because I'm most likely like not gonna take that with me when I leave in a couple months just because it's, you know, the size and all that. I'd rather buy, like, a better quality one when it gets stateside. Um, but for now, it's just something I can mess around with. It's, like, an entry-level thing. So, that being said, I'm now on my way to a place that I know sells records uh, just to kind of see what they have and uh, pick something up. So, we'll see how it goes. And look, I, I have a super, super weak spot when it comes to uh, nostalgia. Like, nostalgia is a great selling factor <laughs> for me. All right, so got to the store, running. Let's see what they got. Hopefully, I can at least walk away with one good record. Here we are. All right, so I got two records. I got an Andy Williams record. It has like some various uh, songs on it, but one of them is from The Godfather, which is my all-time favorite movie. And then I got some it's like piano instrumentals. I think this is some random composer, but he's playing some of Chopin's work, I believe. Some of this is in Japanese, so I might be totally wrong, but I know it is definitely some piano pieces, so fine by me. I only spent like $8 for two records. They have a ton of records, and I wish I had way more time to go through them, but I realized that I took the house key. We have two house keys. We're supposed to get a copy for the third one. And my mom's coming home from work soon, so I need to get home so that she has a way in. All right, so it started off as lunch, some errands, it turned into a couple hours longer than I intended to be out. Anyways, back home now. I'm gonna set everything up and then uh, get to some work, I guess. It's actually lighter than I thought. So here it is. You can see the source knob, FM, Bluetooth, uh, tuning for this right here for your FM radio, I guess. And then you have your aux, volume, eject, CD, uh, power, the media controls, of course. And at the top, you have the turntable for the record with some instructions here. Can't forget the cassette player on the side. All right, so here it goes. And here's a sample of the CD player right now. I'm playing Keenan Grannis's Elements album. 
And the speakers are decent. I mean, obviously they're not super high quality, but for built-in speakers, they're decent enough for me just to listen to. I think for fun, I'll probably do a review of this on the Digital Dojo's channel. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below too on the Amazon link where you can grab it. All right, so it's like 2 a.m. right now. Huge gap in time. I totally forgot I was vlogging today, and um, I just got done watching James Bond Spectre, the latest James Bond, with a friend who's... Maybe you can see him right there. He's going to jump inside real quick because uh, I'm going to help him out with his laptop. He brought his laptop. We're going to sort some stuff out before he has to leave. Anyways, just finished James Bond Spectre. The last... I'm pretty sure like that's the last of the series for Daniel Craig, at least. I'm a huge fan of the James Bond series. I give it a thumbs up. It's long, it's like really story driven, but there's also a lot of action. And if you just kind of want like a full circle of the whole James Bond series, then definitely worth a watch. If anything, it makes me want to rewatch like Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, all of that. Solace, whatever. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching throughout this hectic day. It's crazy to even, like, that was a long movie. I had no idea it's like already like 2 a.m. Anyhow, uh, I got head inside. Thanks for watching. You gotta tell the audience, thanks for watching. Hey, you coming in from the dark? I can't even see you. Where are you? There you are. Thanks for watching. Pardon the interruption. It's the day after when this vlog was originally shot. However, I was looking back at the clips and I just now realized that I didn't fill you guys in with any context. So, originally the vlog was gonna end, and then obviously you saw me at a karaoke, which probably makes no sense. Uh, what happened was, we get inside, and my friend's uh, girlfriend and my good friend Erica, uh, nearly at 3 a.m., spontaneously wanted to go to karaoke and uh, if there's one thing I can't deny in this world it is a karaoke invitation so nearly 3 a.m. we left we met up with her we went to karaoke till 5 a.m. and I got home like probably right around 6 a.m. and probably was so out of it and so tired um, that I just totally forgot to close out the vlog so yeah back to your scheduled program I had to...